So I'll put this one in the form of a question. Is rock star Bono of U2 actor Robin Williams? Now we're just going to do a little preliminary right now um, <clears throat> with just some simple comparisons by eyesight without the pick try if. So on the left you see Bono and on the right Williams. Now this, these are going to have to change here as I flip this. Okay, now that switched. You got Williams on the left and Bono on the right on that one. Okay, Williams, Bono. I think is now this 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 way. Sorry, I have to keep switching those. Now you notice something that they both seem to love to wear these goofy sunglasses. Why is that? Well first of all they're giving you a clue and secondly they probably don't want you to know the truth because if you did you wouldn't listen to Bono and you wouldn't laugh at Robin Williams because you would say they're a liar and they fool us and they trick us. Okay, and you gotta switch it. All right, so you could be, you could be doing this a long time. So what we'll do then? We'll go elsewhere. We'll go to the pick try if and pick up on that. Okay, the match is sufficient to be able to at least raise the question and then possibly even make the statement that they're one and the same. Now, some other people might say, well, they're of the same family of liars. That could be true. They could be uh, brothers. Okay, now I switched it on you, but it's Bono on the left, Williams on the right. 55%, 62%. If you notice, there's quite a difference too on the hairstyle and everything, but the meter's saying that's 62%, with Bono on the left and Williams on the right. <clears throat> Bono on the left, 62%, consistently again. Williams on the right. Once again, consistent. Changing the photos, you still get the consistent results. 55%. So we're back to that, showing you just simple side by side. Comparison. Simple side by side. Okay, now, um, let's take some interviews.
Bono went to a prayer breakfast, I believe in 2006. First Lady, uh, King Abdullah of Jordan, Norm, uh, distinguished guests, please join me in praying that I don't say something we all regret. <laughs> that was for the FCC. If you're wondering what I'm doing here at a prayer breakfast, well, so am I. I'm certainly not here as a man of the cloth, unless that cloth is, is leather. Uh, <laughs> I'm certainly not here because I'm a rock star, which leaves only one possible explanation. I've got a messianic complex. <clears throat> it's true. Anyone who knows me, uh, it's hardly a revelation. Well, I'm the first to admit that there's something unnatural, something even unseemly about rock stars mounting the pulpit and preaching at presidents and disappearing to their villas in the south of France. That's right, there's something unusual. It's called substituting Antichrist for Christ. Anti means in place of. Anti also means against. So it's both. You take someone like this guy, Bono, who might be Robin Williams, Put him in a prayer breakfast. Come on. What's going on? All right, now that's Bono. Now let's take a Robin Williams gander here. America, but the good news is we have uh, Barack, and once you go Barack, you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of people, a lot of people in Ireland are going, he's black Irish, he's an Obama. It is! <laughs> right there, he's the Obama, I'll tell you right now. You know they will be, because every president is from Yeah, so that's um, the law. I think actually Obama is Kenyan for Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, kind of a, it's an amazing thing, though, the joy, the joy that took place when he was elected. It's just this insane joy and, and obviously tears of joy like when you look and see Jesse Jackson because the dream came true it's almost like the, the dream came true the dream came true great God mighty now the dream came true but I know that there's people still wondering that on inauguration day there's still people thinking that on inauguration day all of a sudden you'll be going Mr. Obama you're now president what's up what's up what's up Okay, and back to Bono. Again, they're in and around and near presidents. So that should be a clue. The water. It was weird enough to have Jesse Helms come to a rock show. Um, this is really weird. Um, now, one of the things I love about this country is the separation of church and state and yeah you notice the sort of the Irish touch the Irish accent and Robin Williams brings it on too so back to my original thesis that I'll present and that is I put put it in the form of a question is rock star as we know Bono Really, Robin Williams? The meter seems to indicate there's a very strong resemblance. And other things seem to indicate that indeed, that is true. What do you think? Well, leave your comments and let me know what you think. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Especially if you get to the end of my videos, I like to add an extra thank you. End of video.